Do you want to turn your webcam into an eye tracker? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how I have done this. For example, if we go to my Buccaneer here, you can see my eyes are centered. If I took to my left, it will go left. If I look to my right, it will go right. If I center my eyes again, I can look up. It will go to the top. And if I look down, it will go towards my displays here. Super decent for Star Citizen. You can also include your head if you wanted to for more movement. For example, maybe you want to look behind you. The cockpit is not too great for the Buccaneer, but you can do this as well. It's both eye tracking and head tracking at the same time. So what software did I use? Well, the software that I'm using is called the Beam Eye Tracker. If you use this, it will turn your webcam into eye, eye tracking, which is super nice. You can get it at two places. You can either get it for Windows, just directly from the website or Steam. If you get it from just the website, I will earn a little bit of commission from my affiliate link. So thank you for supporting me if you do buy it there. But there is also a free trial for two hours, I think, or a little bit more, depending on, on Steam that you can try out to see if you like it i'm quickly going to show you how to set everything up so that it can be flawless it's quite quick you don't need to tweak a lot of things so let me quickly show you the first software that we're going to need here is open track open track is used for a lot of face tracking and head tracking softwares for example if i hit start here you can see the little octopus will start following me as i turn my head this is only head tracking but beam eye tracker will allow you to turn this software into eye tracking as well so it's both head tracking and eye tracking this is why we need beam eye tracker so it can also track our eyes but i'm going to show you quickly how to get this software it is open sourced i think since it is on github so i'm quickly going to show you how to get this if you head over to github here you can download open track for example here's their patch notes i'm going to link this page in the description but you just want to go here you can see the, here is their pre-release but you basically want to go to the latest here, click on open track. Mine is 2023.3 for this very moment. Maybe it's already updated when you download this, but you can just go here, go all the way down, say open track here dot ex, right? You just click this and it will download. Now you can just go to download and double click the software. You can see I've already downloaded it a couple of times since I've been stuttering, but you can see here, just double click it, say yes, it will open and just follow the process, just like installing Star Citizen or a normal game and just say next, next, and you should be all good to go. Once this is all set up, you can just go towards the software. I'm just going to hit cancel since I already set this up. I'm just going to open the software. Now you have opened up the software, right? Here we are. You eventually will come to this screen. You can just click profile here, say create new empty config you can just name it whatever i'm gonna say subscribe please right which is super nice always subscribe now we're almost done setting everything up all that we need to do is go to inputs here go all the way up and look for eyewear beam the company used to be called eyewear beam it's just a little bit easier to pronounce the new name so it's eyewear beam and you should be good here now we need to open beam eye tracker that you probably downloaded on the website or steam i got my beam eye tracker open here you can see here's everything here but we first need to set up our camera for example you need to hit this little cog wheel for settings here is our settings we go to camera here and then if you scroll all the way up you can select your camera you can even preview it for example i can preview myself here hello you can see I'm here. I put my camera way to the bottom here because it's a little bit better for eye tracking, I believe. I just put it on my Steam Deck. So I just put it there. Maybe you can put it at the top if you want to, but I just put it there. I selected my camera and we're all good. I also said exclusive. Damn, they're giving a real double chin vibes, but you can say exclusive and it will exclusively use your camera and you can basically just say 30 FPS. I do have a C930, which is a, like a C920, but mainly for offices, so wider, wider field of view. But you can use that and you should be pretty decent. 
think in general you can start tweaking the settings here but i found out that most of the settings is pretty decent i just leave everything on 50 and i really enjoy using it that way you can also basically if you only have one eye or maybe you have a lazy eye you can just put it on left or right but i'm going to use both i do use glasses sometimes but only for driving because i need to see further but for now i usually don't use gla glasses to basically look at my computer screen but there's a lot of other things here you can also have a little thing follow your eyes i believe the overlay that you can have it can basically track your eye movement and so forth but I'm going to leave that out since we're all decent here. After setting up your webcam and things, just hit calibrate. And you should see a couple of dots here. Just look forward, click the dot. Look to the left. Look to the right. Same for the bottom. To the right and the left. Try not to move your head since it might influence it. But it should be calibrated and you're all good to go. Just press save and minimize. Go back to open track software and you can start hitting start. Just hit start. You should be able to move the little octopus with your head but not your eyes really. Because this is only for head tracking but beam eye tracker is for your eyes right. Now let's go into Star Citizen and I'll show you how to set everything up so that you can use your eyes in game. Oh before we go I almost forgot we do need a reset button here as well. I forgot so just say key binding and hit 2 if you didn't know just go options key binding and just bind to anything you want just to center yourself again sometimes you need it I, I hardly ever use it but sometimes you will get out of your cockpit and you just need to hit the reset button all softwares you basically need to do that let me quickly jump into star citizen and i'll show you how to set everything up okay we're in star citizen here all that you need to do is head over to Arena Commander. Just say offline since we're going to have to take our time. Click on the race and just say free fly. And we should be good to go here. Just say launch. I'm going to select the ship here. Drag Buccaneer. And say spawn. Our, my eye tracker is already online since I already set everything up. But I'm just going to center myself. But how do you set it up? Well, you're just going to hit escape. Say options. Go all the way to the right here and then we can set it up. For example, we need to look for hat tracking here. General sources. We're going to select track IR. So here's the IR. Super nice. And then we also need to enable it here. Toggle enable. Say yes. You can also use position offset in cockpit. If I say yes, you're going to see... It will make you basically motion, motion sick because if you move, it will move your whole character's body up and down. I turn it off since it makes me sick. But for if you want that type of thing, then it's super. you can use it if you want to. But I do not like it. I like to sit in place and just look around with my eyes. I don't even use my head a lot when looking since I feel like my head will get sore. But I only use the eye tracking mostly. And then you can also hear auto calibrate, yes, my smoothness and things, I went to 50, it was on 100, I like it a little bit more jarring, it feels a little bit faster to me, but you can use this. And then for my other settings, disable while seated is no, because we are in our cockpit, we do not want our eye tracking to be disabled. And then for the other things here, I only use it when flying, I don't use it during FPS, that's why the other is yes, for, for, for example. Disable during interaction mode. I want to interact quickly. I don't want to fly around with my eyes. So I just say yes. During disable during FPS. Yes. Disable during ADS. So looking good down your scope. Yes. Disable during Moby class. Yes. And then disable during interaction mode. I think it's no. For some reason. I don't know why. But I just left it there. I haven't gotten into any issues. Enable roll in seat, no. Enable roll in FPS, no. And then if we scroll a little bit down, enable view toggle, yes. Disable in inventory, yes. And then use device offset, no. 
So this is basically all my settings. You don't get a lot of options, but you do get a lot of options in the Beam Eye Tracker software. I'll show you in a minute. But first, that's basically all you need to do. Just hit your reset key that we found earlier. And you can just look left, look up, or look right, and you should be decent. You can even look down, and you can basically see all of the things. If you want to, you can move your head freely. It's pretty easy to set up, doesn't take too long. If you want to tweak things here and there, you can open up the Beam software again. For example, here's the Beam software, right? You can just click the cog. And you can go down here and tweak everything. You can even say setup guide. Oh, something that I need to mention that wasn't intuitive to me. Is sometimes when you start the Beam software, you'll get this screen here. And you're wondering, how do I go out? Just hit this. You won't close the software. You'll just close the tip screen, which is super, super decent. And then you'll be back on your software. No need to worry about closing the whole software because you hit that little X, right? So you're super decent. So hope this video was helpful. If it was, consider getting the Beam Eye Tracker on their website instead of Steam since it will allow me to earn a little bit of commission from my affiliate link in the description. But if you do, a big thank you to you. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.